Hey guys, this is Zebrix here, and today I'm going to be showing you the mechanism for my version 2 Lego candy dispenser. So as you can see, there's this wheel here. It's attached to this gear, which is attached to this piece, which is attached to that piece. So when you turn the gear, this piece moves back and then forward, and it pushes the M&M out. Just like this. And I'll demonstrate it again. This is the motion of it. So that way you can just spin it in one direction and it'll keep dispensing. So that way you don't have to turn it one way and then turn it back and keep doing that. And in this way, if you attach a Lego motor to it, you can make it just a dispenser with a switch. So, when you turn the switch on, if you attach the motor to this rod, which you can take this little piece off, if you attach the motor to this rod, <clears throat> then you could essentially make an electric dispensing thing. And using the same mechanism, you could also make a coin pusher, using this as the little pushing piece. So, I don't have a Lego motor, so I can't make either of those. But I hope you maybe got some ideas from this video for a new mechanism of maybe your own machine. If you do use the same mechanism, please give me credits. And before I end the video, I'm just going to show the mechanism one more time. So, I'm going to take this piece off. Okay, so this is the first piece. It's, it rotates like this. Okay. And that's because the rod is attached to one of those holes, you can see, and then you can put this piece back on, and then this piece is just right here. So when you turn this crank for this piece, it'll actually make this push forward, which dispenses the M&Ms. So yeah, that's the mechanism for it. It was pretty easy to make. Didn't take too long to build. And I probably will not make a tutorial. Because I'm not sure if many people have the gear piece and the square piece there. So, probably won't make a tutorial. But I will say that I might make another large machine. So just stay on the lookout for that. And thanks for watching.